<laughs> I'm so happy. I like. I don't know what that's gonna end up doing, but it looks cool while I'm doing it. Whoa! Look at the plug. Dude, they're they have people faces. Dude. Anyway, you were talking about your um, communications professor. Oh yeah, his entire stance. His little shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It just shocks the crap out of him. He's a he has an entire stance on communication because does he, he like spread his legs out kind of and really in his in this stance on communications? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he doesn't, David. Because I'm talking about how his, did uh, you just his... move through that grate? Because I am capable of moving through some things. What are you made of? Rhinoplasty? I guess. What? You know that, uh, it's like the... Um, uh, I don't really care. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was feigning, I was feigning care. Okay, communication, he stance. Damn. Oh, I thought I would kill that guy. Anyway. He always talks about, like, the evolution of languages and stuff, and right. how, you know, the, the, uh, the English of 200 years ago is absolutely nothing like the English of today. Right. And that the modern uses of many words... Oh, I just did that. The modern <laughs> uses of a lot of words and the uh, the modern lingo as far as how we use, uh, like, BRB and on all these things isn't so much the death of language the way a lot of the his colleagues are seeing it, that it's just, like, the next stage of the English sure. language. <clears throat> I still, I mean, and I don't know your professor, so I, w I wouldn't, I don't know exactly where you would stand on this, but I do, I still think that being able to speak properly is super important. Um, are you boned? I hope not. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, there's a robot pushing it! Look at the little robot! Look at him! Oh, nice, he's like a, a wind-up wind toy. Um, I still think being able to speak properly is super, super important. Oh, oh! I would never negate. The and I need. don't think you should ever. And there are certain things that it's okay. I think there's context to it. If you say BRB to me in real life, and you're not trying to be funny by being, you know, I'm gonna go take a crop BRB. If you legitimate, <laughs> if you, that, that's okay. Uh, but if you, Aww. if you were, if you were like, oh, I'm gonna go run to the store BRB. I would look at you and be like, you can talk like that on the internet, but you cannot talk to me <laughs> with words. You cannot talk to me verbally like that. And that's just personal. Okay, oh. he just sapped the crap out of you. Man, I'm almost dead. Jump. Whoa. I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> But that's just me. But there's a reason why we... What? Wow. Ugh. Oh. Uh, so sad, just walking. Yeah, and also something. like like meaning meanings of words was big for him. So like the fact that literally now means just a modifier that that kind of stuff just happens. Like like who uses the word lousy and yeah. actually means that you have lice? Oh, lousy. Does anybody use that word in that context anymore? Is that what lousy? Louse. I mean, right, right. But like I'm that's, pretty sure it's that's full of lice. Weird. I I kind of want to look that up now. But we won't. Probably not. <clears throat> we Why have... am I supposed to throw these things? Um, I don't know. He looks kind of like an outlet. Is he? Like that, probably. Dang it. Uh, yeah. There's a. There's a. I. I, I agree. So if somebody's upset about, I mean, oh, oh god, oh. Did that not hurt you. Mm, not very badly if it did. Not like that spider grab move from no. Fusion that just kicks the crap out of you? No, not uh, not like that move. But this is one of those lingering explosion games. Dude, you know what else is a lingering explosion? Your farts. Your farts, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ha -ha. I, beat, I beat you to the punchline! Whatever, but your farts are disgusting. Mine actually... Mine are... Mine have... Wait. No, the my the my bark is worse than my bite. Your bite is just as bad as your bark. <laughs> oh, boom! That you have not heard him a whole lot. I heard him once though. You heard me once. He oh, heard you just me got rid twice. of that. Oh, oh he just <laughs> bitch slapped you. Just spanking. Just spanking time for baby. Spanking. 
has different meaning now too. Does it? Spanking? Come on. <laughs> Not in all contexts. Dang Ooh, it! Would you just hold, uh, suck it up, would hold you it just in for hold a while? It in for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a cork in you. <laughs> Don't put a cork in me, then I won't be able to do your things right. Speak okay, so here's here's an example of like straight up racism and the fact that we used to laugh at stuff like this as kids does you know a lot of people Oh okay, so we're going we're going right from our fart jokes back to our racism. Hey man, it's an important topic. Uh you know, I mean, you. Uh, everybody has things that they regret, or they think about things that they did when they were a child, or when they were like in their awkward years or something. And you just, like, oh God, why, why did I think that, or why was I like that? I remember being a young child, and we used to laugh at stuff like the whole. There was this, there was this joke where it's like a bunch of people they were gonna do this race across the Sahara Desert or something, and the the winner was the person who could. Um, who could get across the, set, the Sahara with their camel, not, uh, with their camel not going to the bathroom? Okay. Yeah, so that's the premise of this joke. <clears throat> Stay tuned. Dang <laughs> it! This guy is like awkward to fight. So uh, anyway, so anyway, so like they get to the on. end of the race or whatever, and like, and it's it's like a racial joke because it's straight out. It's like okay, so the British guy or something. His, his camel goes to the bathroom and he's like, oh, damn, like, I didn't, I wasn't able to make it. And, like, whatever, the Arab guy's camel goes to the bathroom and the, the Russian guy's camel goes to the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. And they get, the Chinese guy or something comes in and, he, yeah, and he's like, yeah, I, I, I made it. I was able to, they're, they're wondering how he got his camel to not go to the bathroom. And, and the punchline of this joke is... Me Chinese, me no dumb, me stick cork in camel's bum. We used to think that shit was funny, and that makes my heart hurt so bad that as like a 12 year old, we were like, ah ha ha ha! Because you didn't realize how <laughs> terrible that was to think that, like, uh, uh, you know, oh, he's Chinese, he must speak like an imbecile or something, like, and it's supposed to be funny. Because as a 12 year old, you're thinking about the fact that a guy stuck a cork in a camel's butt, <laughs> not the fact that the joke is racially <laughs> I terrible. I think that's funny nowadays! <laughs> but, like, you don't think about the racial implications of the joke when you're 12 years old. Yeah, I guess. You still think about how funny that situation is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but... Oh, camels are weird, so let's just... Dang it! You just burned me! Move on for that. Are we? Oh, oh there's another time. Did he just I... set you on fire with his? No, I was jumping out of the way. Okay, so it just hurts you way, way after. Oh, all right, we need to fast forward. Yeah, or... this guy is freaking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll get back to it. Wait, but a game over. This is what I'm saying about the whole game over not meaning anything. Because all it does is send you back here. You start up your game again. You go into the level. You click on the boss. And you're fighting the boss. Like, why are there lives in this game? Why didn't they just let you? Why? Get with the times. Yeah. This is an old game. That's Curve 64. Sense. No more lives. Games that come out. You're not trying to steal quarters from me. Well, quarters of your life, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I jumped over that. Sucked you up. are not able to hurt him very much with that. No, none of these things hurt him very badly. Kind of sucks. It does. But you can hold those things indefinitely, right? Oh, you can actually hit him there. Yeah, Is it worth taking a hit though? Watch no. out! No, it's not worth taking a hit. No, <laughs> it's never worth it. Oh. I am never. Ah, how did he slap me? But my spit wasn't able to hit him. This is the kind of crap I I hate. You're so fat. Oh, nice. See, yeah. that, that was it right there. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got, big guy? Getting better at this. You're getting better. Hey, if I feel like if you don't get better, like on the third or four out, <laughs> fourth get time lasered. that you fight a boss. I call it the Mario effect. Have we talked about this? No, I don't think we've talked about your so Mario theory. We call this. My brother and I called this the Mario effect because we first experienced it um, on playing Mario levels, where. You, you're trying to accomplish a, a somewhat difficult task, like let's say a really complex Mario level. <clears throat> and you've gotten far in the level, by the way, nice job, 
you've gotten far in the level, but there was something that you died on. And so, it's second form. <laughs> okay! You are, you start to anticipate the part that you died on or made a mistake on and what you needed to do better, enough so that you then just totally biff it on, like, the easiest first part or something. So we're talking, we're talking, you make it to the very end of some really hard Mario level, and you're so, you're, you've tried it too many times, and you're trying to get back there, and then you basically, oh, oh that sucks. These second forms are the worst! Alright, keep you, going about your Mario while we do a fast forward. But then you, uh, you fall into the first pit in that level, because you're, like, focusing on what you need to do later. And so you basically start doing worse and worse. Like, right there, I would be like, dude, don't Mario it. You just got hit by his laser attack, and it's like... Because you're focusing on the stuff that you, you... You're focusing on his second form right now, because you got there, and so you're thinking about what you need to do in that second form, and you've completely forgotten all of the... All, like, how well you can do this first part. Totally the Mario effect. Oh, but I'm... I thought I could jump over that You're one. Marioing it right now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I understand that. And you're gonna beat him, so... As long as they don't run out of... Oh, oh dang it, they were way too close to him. Yes! Oh, yes! nice! Yeah, alright, I'm assuming we're already back now. Oh yeah, dude, when so, we got back to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're back. We're That's back. Like form, we're back. We've been back. We've, we've been, been back! back. Where we have you been? Not. I've been playing Kirby and trying not to die! Nice. Which is a dude, you had thing. two hits left. That was way better than that lava boss. Way better than the lava bow. Oh wait, we should probably. Oh, she's sad. We should probably have been. Oh, the heart. Through. This is a long episode, but that's okay. Oh, he's such a. Ugh. Why are we so happy? We're communicating with Morse blinking. Morse. Morse blinking. blinking. Oh, oh, dude, ha, Kirby just ha, ate ha. it. Come on, Kirby, save my land, even though you can't jump. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Oh, what does that mean? Like. Okay, blah, 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 Ripple Star. Ripple Star. Uh, next time we'll play some Ripple Star. Ripple, nipple, 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 n